What is the Syriac Peshitta Bible? Hello, I'm Dr. Stephen Andrew Misick, and we're going to talk about the Bible in Aramaic. And uh, the Bible that is used by the Aramaic heritage churches, this is the Syrian Orthodox Church, the Assyrian Church of the East, and other Syriac Rite Catholic churches, and other Syriac churches. They use a Bible, a version of the Bible, called the Syriac Peshitta. And, of course, it's the complete Bible, the Old and New Testaments. And included in the Old Testament are what we think of as apocryphal books, such as the Book of Maccabees. Now, the Syriac Peshitta is an important witness to the original Hebrew, because scholars believe that the Syriac Peshitta was translated from Hebrew. So, let's first talk about the Syriac dialect of Aramaic. Now, the Bible mentions that the Jews were taken into exile, the period of the Babylonians. And uh, at that time in the world, Aramaic was a global language. And Aramaic became one of the three languages of the Bible. Many parts in the book of Ezra and parts of the book of Daniel are written in Aramaic. And Jesus spoke Aramaic as well. So we have a, a lot of literature written by uh, the Syriac Christian tradition, the Aramaic churches, in a particular dialect of Aramaic called Syriac. And Syriac is the form of Aramaic that is spoken in an important Aramaic kingdom called Edessa. It's a city-state. And uh, there are legends that Mar Adai, as they call him, who is traditionally associated with or identified with St. Jude Thaddeus, went to the city of Edessa and uh, founded the Assyrian Church of the East, and also evangelized the Armenians. But this is a Aramaic-speaking city-state uh, or kingdom, and uh, the dialect that they use there is called Syriac. And we have the Bible in Syriac, and this dialect of, of Aramaic is used by uh, Aramaic Christians. A lot of literature, the writings of the Syriac church fathers, for instance, are written in this, this dialect. And to this day, uh, many of the, church, the Assyrian Church of the East, uh, the Maronite Church, the Syrian Orthodox Church, they still use uh, Aramaic, uh, classical Syriac Aramaic in their services. So it's an important ancient Christian language. Now, scholars believe that the Old Testament of the Peshitta was most likely translated by Jewish people from Hebrew uh, into Aramaic, into Syriac Aramaic. Now, the Jews have a tradition of Aramaic versions of the Bible they call the Targums. So perhaps that's how the original Old Testament Syriac Peshitta began, as the Jewish community translating the Bible from Hebrew into the Aramaic uh, language. And even Josephus mentions, or he claims that he wrote a version of his book, uh, of his writings in Aramaic, so it could be circulated among the huge Jewish population of Mesopotamia. So to this day, Aramaic is still spoken by the Assyrians and other Christian groups uh, the Syrian Orthodox uh, and the Assyrian Christians, uh, they have modern Aramaic dialects, but they both use the Syriac form of Aramaic because that's the language, according to their traditions, or the form of Aramaic that was uh, where Christianity was originally established by uh, St. Uh, Thaddeus, or Mar Adai, and uh, his uh, fellow disciple, uh, Mar Marai. So we have the entire Old Testament in Syriac Aramaic translated from the Hebrew by a group of Jews that probably were uh, Jewish Christians by the time that this translation was completed. Uh, there are scholars have looked and examined the Syriac that should have written on it. And uh, it's an important ancient witness, like I was saying. It's translated from the Hebrew into Aramaic, which means that the translators of this uh, version of the Bible were looking at scrolls much earlier than anything we possess besides the Dead Sea Scrolls. So the witness of certain ancient translations from the Hebrew, like the Greek Septuagint, the Latin Vulgate, and the Syriac Peshitta, and the Aramaic Targums are very important in helping us to understand. Uh, so there are certain places where the Hebrew uh, seems obscure or unintelligible. That's why it's important that we have these ancient witnesses where they were looking at uh, Hebrew text and they translated as they understood it uh, in antiquity. So the Syriac Peshitta is a very important uh, witness or version of the Old Testament. And it belongs pretty much the same manuscript tradition as the Masoretic text. And uh, the, the New Testament, the Peshitta, is similar to the, uh, the received text or the Byzantine text, as they call it, similar to the text used 
uh, by the King James translators. So we have the Syriac Peshitta Old Testament and the Syriac Peshitta New Testament. Peshitta just means a common Bible, which is the same thing the word Vulgate means. Uh, Peshitta means a common uh, in uh, that particular dialect of Aramaic. So the Syriac Peshitta Old Testament is very important. As I mentioned, it did include apocryphal books. Uh, can you read a translation of the Syriac Peshitta? Well, George Lamza translated it, but uh, he's kind of a controversial figure. Uh, but there is a new translation that's being made uh, by Gorgias Press. It's called the Antioch Bible. And uh, they've got the entire New Testament translated from the Syriac Peshitta uh, published, and it's available uh, now. And they're working on the Old Testament. Uh, and uh, this is a project they have. We have a new, modern, critical, scholarly translation of the Syriac Peshitta, Old and New Testament, which is important to have this version of the Bible uh, available uh, to a larger audience and people who are interested in exploring the Aramaic background of Jesus and the apostles. So this is a very important uh, biblical study tool and it's a very important ancient witness uh, to the text of the Old Testament. And I believe scholars date uh, certain parts of the Syriac Peshitta anyway to the uh, late first and early second century. So it's a very ancient uh, translation. It was probably originally made uh, by the Jews of Mesopotamia for their own use. Since Hebrew uh, wasn't widely spoken at all, uh, that's why the, the Greek Septuagint was translated, and that's why we also have the, uh, the Syriac Peshitta Bible. Uh, so this is the Bible used by uh, all the denominations of, of Aramaic Christianity, the Syriac churches, and it's an important witness to the text of the Scripture. And scholars consult the Syriac Peshitta a lot. In further programs, I can go into greater detail about the, the Peshitta, uh, Old and New Testament, the apocryphal books, or deuterocanonical books. Uh, like if you look at First and Second Maccabees, to Protestants, they're apocryphal books, but the Catholics and the Orthodox and the Church of the East are just part of the Old Testament. Uh, when the canon was revised in the Protestant Reformation, uh, the Protestant churches uh, just removed from canonical status certain books that had been accepted as canonical by the church for 1,500 years. But that's another uh, interesting conversation uh, is the canon of, of scriptures and the different uh, versions of the canon uh, that are held in different uh, church traditions. So uh, join me later on another program. We'll go more in depth into the Aramaic Christian heritage. Thank you and God bless you. Jesus was an Aramaic-speaking Jew of the Middle East, and the Assyrians are Aramaic-speaking Christians in the Middle East who have endured persecution for over 1,000 years. Join Voice of the Word Aramaic Bible teacher, artist, and author Stephen Missick as he examines the Bible through the ancient languages, peoples, lands, cultures, and times in which it was first revealed. Research the scriptures, rescue persecuted Christians, and restore the church to its Semitic roots. And now, Voice of the Word. Research, rescue, and restore. Help Voice of the Word and Aramaic Christian Ministries mission research the ancient languages, peoples, lands, cultures, and times of the Bible. Rescue persecuted Assyrian Christians in the Middle East and restore Christianity to its original Semitic roots. For Stephen Missick's books, online giving, and other resources from Aramaic Christian Ministries, visit www.stephenmissick.com. Join us next time on Voice of the Word as we research the scriptures, rescue persecuted Christians, and restore the church to its Semitic roots.